Boom. Hammering it down. All well. Let's go put reverse thrust on. All the way into the braking power. Yeah! Now, for this right here is obviously the very renowned Boeing 737 by PMDG here for the Microsoft Flight Simulator. And while one interesting thing about this aircraft is that you kind of never run out of features to explore, because this airplane is so immensely detailed. Yes, I mean, take a look at just the aircraft stuff that we can, you know, kind of configure, equipment. It's literally 17 pages of different packages that the 737-800 right here came with. Stuff like the eyebrow window. Windows that we can now get rid of and now can get back here. Yes, there were 737-800 with uh, eyebrow windows. You can put a uh, Wi-Fi antenna here. Yes, take a look at this now. We can also get a KU band. So there's a lot of stuff to configure. But one very interesting option on the 737 definitely is the short fuel package and the performance improvement package, both of which actually exist in real life. Ever the 737 specifically designed for short runways. Now, the short runway package that we're talking about is very new it came out in 2006 and the reason why Boeing did that was because of the Brazilian airline of Gol. Yes, the airline that flies to Santos Dumont Airport here in Rio de Janeiro, which has guess what? Extremely short runways. We shall go in real life. No, I mean Gol is a Boeing customer of course. By the mid 2000s they started using the 737 300, so an older variant. And we've flown the classic 737 before, and while they required actually quite a bit less runway than the modern next generation 737-8s, you know, I guess the premise for goal to upgrade to the new one then was that Boeing would have to make the runway requirements on the 737-8s somewhat shorter. And that's once again what they did. They introduced the short runway package or the short field performance package as it's called with which the airplane that actually have it are as you can see highlighted to tailor the sfp short field performance now you may ask well what are these enhancements that apparently are supposed to make the 737 more performanty well it starts off at the slats which are as you can see sealed on takeoff well what does that mean right now we have the short field package obviously activated and you can see the slats are nicely set once we deactivate the short field performance package the slats come down and i guess are unsealed this is i guess to you know enhance the aerodynamics so that the acceleration of the plane is faster now obviously when you operate on short runways and take off and land at them one thing that can happen a lot is a tail strike against with the sfp 737 is especially protected because it has a two position tail skid yes it can retract actually come out even more to I guess protect the tail a little bit better. The problem is I can't really demonstrate that in the flight simulator. This makes no difference. Doesn't really put it out any further, does it? Or am I am I dumb? Yeah, this is by the way how far the tail skid can actually come out. Quite impressive. Now another big change to the engines is that they respond a bit faster. The engine idle thrust delay was changed from five seconds to two seconds. What that means is that the engine will idle faster and I guess reduce power faster and you can stop faster. Now this changes also the main gear camber, which was reduced by one degree to increase uniformity of braking. I guess just the landing gear. But I think the biggest improvement is the spoilers, the speed brakes. We can actually, let's go ahead and move the lever to all the way. Now, now this is what the spoilers look like on the normal 737. On the short fuel performance 737, they come up a whole lot higher, all the way up to 60 degrees compared to the normal like 30 degrees of the 737. Can you actually do you see a difference? Look, yeah, the spoiler really does come out quite significantly. Now, it might be true that Boeing didn't really reinvent the wheel on this one when they increased the power of the 737, but I kind of want to see, well, how much difference does it make? So let's go ahead and perform a takeoff here at this airport from the very same position. Here we go, with the short fuel performance right now with five degrees, same configuration. See if this performs any better. Yes, full power, no static takeoff whatsoever. Good acceleration. Let's just see when the airplane wants to take off. I don't have any VC. He's configured. All right, there it is. And a, a tail strike. All right, that actually only very barely worked taking off on the numbers. Let's maybe see without. Yeah, let's turn off the SFP and also the performance improvement package. See what that looks like. All right, I think, I feel like we're accelerating a little bit worse. I feel like this might get a little very close. All right, come on, come on. Yeah, ah. Uh. 
You can actually see there is quite a difference. There you go. There is a slight difference here in performance. Now, in terms of official numbers, I couldn't really find out well, what the real performance jump is in terms of how less runway you need with the SFP package, but the modifications enable weight increases of approximately 4,700 kilograms or 10,000 pounds for landing and 1,700 kilograms, 3,000 pounds for takeoff from short runways. So we've got a significant weight performance improvement. But everybody, I guess it's about time that we do some experimenting with the SFP 737. What is the runway performance like? Has Boeing created a stole airplane. So here we are at St. Barth. Of course, we are. Of course we are. We can fly at impressively low speeds. I remember the stall speed of the 737 being at like 90 knots. Not sure what the primary flight display here is telling me, but geez, this airplane can fly at immensely low speeds. I mean, our flaps are at 40 degrees. I mean, that's something that you can see on the normal 737, but that's quite a wall of flaps. All right, 113 knots, and the plane is still flying happily as ever. Get ready for the hardest landing you have ever seen. And that's gonna mean something, Reiner flies you there you go very slow very slow yes yes oh yeah boom hammering it down all well let's go put reverse thrust on all the way into the braking power yes this plane stops like a beast i have no idea how this was physically possible we have done it <laughs> yes take a look at the immense spoilers degrees guys i mean you have no idea how impressive this is that's actually insane surely the takeoff won't be an issue either i mean the 737 isn't a plane that has ever been low performance or ever needed an especially long runway but that was did you guys see that all right let's try this here now a takeoff time to go full power i know your tail is a little stuck but that's what you got the a tail improvement for, am I right? Yes, full power into the engines of the 737. Should be able to do this without any issues. Unless the tires have failed, which has happened. Nose tire, all right, yeah, the, the, okay, the tires are broken. You wouldn't be able to land here on a daily basis, are you? Yeah, the tires are genuinely burned now. All right, come on, let's maybe try this again. Yeah, what I like about the PMDG 737 is really how realistic it is. And well, yes, the plane even complains long-term about braking too hard. Kind of like a woman. All right, come on, you are a short field performance, 737. Why are the flaps not out? God damn it. All right, maybe the takeout performance isn't in immensely, uh kind of a Jesus plane now. Nah. So, buddy, to conclude this, the full field performance package of the 737 does not make a night and day difference. So far, only 257 737s have been equipped with this package. It's not a lot. But sure, on a very hot and very humid and very high day airport situation, a little more performance definitely helps sometimes. All right, listen to me, 737. We're gonna do this together. Give it a bit more power. I won't let you stall out. I won't let you fall. Fine. All right, 11 knots. Keep it good. Keep it all right. Keep it all right. Don't crash into the mountain. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Normally, when I say you won't be able to be able to walk next tomorrow, um, that's a lie. But this time it's not. I'm getting. I'm having a stroke. Ah, oh, that was hard. It's time to now stop. Full power into the reverse thrust. Stop the plane now. Yes, full power into the braking. We don't even require the whole landing gear. Yeah, uh, runway. I'm confused with speak and take a look at this. What an amazing performance jump indeed. So everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.